So I'm here with Liat Aronson, the COO, Chief Operating Officer at Horizon Labs. It's great to connect with you, Liat. Great to connect with you too. <laughs> so I thought today we'll just talk a little bit about Horizon Labs and the relationship with Horizon and a little bit about your role there, what you do and um, what Horizon Labs is currently working on and their future path forward and things like that. I'm sure there'll be plenty to talk about. So I thought perhaps just to start off, can you tell us a little bit about Horizon Labs? Um, who are they and what has the journey been like so far? Sure. So Horizon Labs is a uh, commercial spin-off out of the Horizon public blockchain. So in an effort to help open up the ecosystem, we thought that we could raise equity funding in order to be able to spend sums of money on building technology on behalf of, of Horizon blockchain. The idea was to really go on the technological innovation. I think Horizon had done an amazing job with financial innovation until then. And the realization was in order to make it a real utility, we needed some technological innovation and that's where Horizon Labs comes in. So um, although we have built the technology to be blockchain agnostic, our goal and mission is to help open up the Horizon ecosystem. Yep. Excellent. And I noticed you mentioned funding there in, in that answer. And I was reading your, your bio earlier. And one thing that stood out to me was that you're an expert in acquiring funding. Uh, I saw you have a keen interest in entrepreneurship and have developed programs for entrepreneurs to take ideas and turn them into funded startups. And you also have excellent legal qualifications and experience in mergers and acquisitions. How do you feel these skills have helped with your role at Horizon Labs? And recently, Horizon Labs acquired $7 million in seed funding, and no doubt your experience and expertise had a huge impact with that. Um, well, first of all, thank you. Um, I think that just shows that I've been around for a while, yes. but uh, I did start out as a mergers and acquisitions lawyer and then transitioned into an entrepreneurship educator. Gave me a lot of different vantage points of what the entrepreneurial ecosystem looks like. Um, from ideation through also to funding and operating a company. I think it's not only about expertise, it's also about networks. So over those years, and because Israel is a, a hotbed for innovation and funding activities, both uh, from the local ecosystem and VC funds from abroad, I've had some experience in that sense. I was also a VC investor for two years in, um, in a New York, uh, Tel Aviv, venture fund that was focusing on uh, series A, B uh, kind of companies. So yeah, I think the experience and the network did help in the end, an introduction to someone that a colleague of mine from an organization called the Kaufman Fellows. It's like an investors network that I belong to. That connection with Jihan from Kinetic actually led to the pricing of the round and what uh, turned into a really um, very nice uh, rounding out of our seed round. We'd had a convertible note and then we raised an additional $7 million um, at a very nice uh, valuation compared to the cap on the convertible. So showing that the market is very much um, uh, optimistic and supportive of what we're doing. That's, that's excellent. And what does this funding mean for the future and growth of Horizon Labs? Where, where is this going to be put to use? Um, in many ways. So first and foremost, it was to give us the buffer we need to continue the technological development. As I'm sure you realize, what is eminently launching, um, and we're so excited about it, is some very hefty um, technological innovation. And that took many man hours and will take many more in order to make it a, you know, a robust set of tools and um, uh, products that will enable really any developer or company or startup to be able to take our SDK and be able to build on it. So uh, for us, that funding was First of all, you know, it, it gives you the confidence to continue building because you, you've got that kind of um, supportive backwind, but also it's also the kind of funding that allows you to be able to do 
the very aggressive hiring. We started out in 2021 with 20 employees and are now edging to 40. So that obviously helps in that department. Wow, that's yeah, certainly a lot, a lot of growth happening there. 40 employees. I didn't realize uh, we've got that many now. Um, yeah. And most of them, and, and mo- sorry, and, and most of them are engineers. So, and we're just now getting into the place where we're starting to grow our business development team. So far, Dean, who's been handling the business development absolutely amazingly, um, has really worked with a team of basically two, he and Caspers, and they've done amazing job but in order to really scale that we need to also hire in the business development team Mm. and then the more engineers and the more business development the more back end you need in order to kind of so it's you know it's like a cyclical thing but we are looking for a very um expansive 2022 excellent and uh what what are some of the projects uh you're working on at the moment so again going back to your first question um horizon lab sees itself as an enabler to opening up the ecosystem. And in order to do that, we realize that to entice users and customers, we need to make it, we need to make generally blockchain and specifically the horizon blockchain more accessible to users. And the way that we're going to do that is by um, helping. So our BD team is making connections with um, organizations that want our blockchains and we're going to help build them. And then the idea is that every product that we build, whether it's for um, a third party customer or for the Horizon network, will then be able to be scaled and offered to other users. So we're building a whole array of products. The lead one is our ZK audit, which is essentially an auditing function for decentralized network. So think, like Ernst and Young, but for networks that are on the chain and are highly centralized. So a way to kind of prove that something happened without actually showing uh, the details of the transaction. It's a great use case for us because it highlights what our expertise is, which is blockchain infrastructure with zero knowledge. We are a zero knowledge enabled network of blockchain. And that is um, a perfect example of that capability. But we have many more in stock. Yes, excellent. You spend a lot of time traveling, particularly between Israel and New York, and also the Milan office um, of Horizon Labs. And I'm wondering, from an international perspective, can you tell us a bit about the global impact of crypto that you are witnessing, and what type of trends are you observing? You know, probably the basic trend that I um, see is that crypto companies tend to be remote. And I think unlike many startups in fintech or um, SaaS companies that service B2B business to business, I think the United States is not the focus. I think this is a worldwide um, a world, worldwide market. And so it's fitting that companies are remote and we started remote first and we've maintained that. We have our engineering team in Milan. We have our product team Uh, growing in New York. We've got the rest of the team scattered really all over the United States and Europe and and Asia. And and we feel that that's um, actually part of of this wider world trend and and believe that it really hones in with a whole message of blockchain and decentralization. So a world that doesn't have the kind of borders that we're used to. And, and I see that in trends and conferences I've gone to as well. I think this is definitely the ethos of this community and why everyone in the community, I think, is excited about that. Excellent. And talking about excitement with Zendu uh, launching or having launched now by the time we're playing this uh, interview, um, I'm just wondering what impact do you see Zendu having on the industry and why should people care when they have thousands of other chains and projects to choose from? Well, you know, I think we're in a nascent part or a nascent time in the development of this of this technology. And so I think a lot of our competitors are also doing really great things and we're all learning from each other. I think what we have going for us is a, a very active community, a really large and robust node network. I think our expertise in the technology is a differentiating point because use of zero knowledge is not as prevalent. 
although I do think some of our competitors are starting to do that. We all kind of watch what's going on. And really, I don't think it's a race to having one winner. I think one of the ideas of decentralization is that there will be different products and they will interact with each other. Um, and that's what we're looking toward building in our 2022 roadmap. So abilities to engage with other blockchains. And that interoperability means that there doesn't have to be one you know, and I think this is a big difference from what's going on in tech right now. So instead of, you know, the big five, maybe this is a, a truly decentralized world where there are many, many more and emergent ones coming in and, and taking shape and taking place. I think what's special about us is our, first and foremost, our technological ability. And, and then, of course, our robust node network and community. Excellent, excellent perspective. And just talking about the node network as well, for those that don't know, Horizon has the largest node network in the industry and more nodes than even Bitcoin and Ethereum combined. So that's quite a, a massive achievement um, to hold that crown in the space. And I really just to, to add to that, I think that is part of Rob's vision from the get-go and, and Horizon's vision of trying to make sure that there, and it, it's, it's really the innovation of Horizon in the first place to be inclusive and incentivizing to all participants in the ecosystem. And that is why the SDK and, it, and everything that we've built also allows developers to have economic um, participation in the side chains or in the blockchain instances that they put out there. And that again is part of this um, understanding that in order to create a robust ecosystem, all parties need to be incentivized financially. Yeah, that's a great point. And just to close our uh, little chat tonight, I'd like to ask you uh, this last question. So women in crypto are often underrepresented and no doubt you are a strong role model for women in this industry. Do you have any advice for female entrepreneurs who may be considering a career in crypto? Absolutely. And I have generally advice for uh, women in entrepreneurship. So um, I'm, I, I feel privileged to have gotten to a place where I'm a role model and, um, and I do a lot of giving back in, in that community. So I'm, um, uh, I'm a mentor in many programs that help bolster women in entrepreneurship generally and specifically in crypto. I think crypto offers an incredible opportunity for women specifically because actually because there aren't a lot of women, there's a lot of uh, advantage to being, um, you know, the, the, the kind of odd egg in the room. I think people tend to remember you more and maybe listen to you more. I think that also puts a, a burden in a sense, but it's also an opportunity. I've never found that being a woman has been a hindrance, but I have found it to be um, and, and I really, really encourage women to, you know, to go out there. Remote companies make for work flexible work-life balance and crypto is booming and there's a lot of financial reward available, which I think is also important to financial independence. Um, anyway, I could talk about that for hours. And in fact, I do in many um, opportunities, but um, if anyone wants to reach out, they can find me on Discord or um, any other uh, channel and I'm happy to discuss anything with any female entrepreneur thinking about or um, anyone interested in uh, getting into crypto. Great. Thank you so much, Liad. It's been a really great uh, opportunity to chat with you and I learned a lot more about the Horizon Labs ecosystem. So thanks for sharing all your knowledge with us and all the best for Horizon Labs going forward. Well, and all the best for Horizon and our big delivery. We're so excited. Um, and great to meet you too, Michael. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Liat.